Hello gamers, welcome to Destiny Dreamlight Valley video. So I've been seeing uh, a few comments of people asking me, uh, does it make sense to grow crops in their native biomes? When yeah, you're trying to plant the seed, back. it says basically you have this little uh, green arrow right here that basically indicates that this is the native biome for this plant and that it will grow faster. So people are wondering, is it worth it? W what's the actual speed increase, and how does it work? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna spill, spill the beans today. I'm gonna tell you exactly how it works. So if you go to collection, foraging, you can see every single, sorry, not foraging, ingredients. You can see every single plant, and if you hover, you can see where to buy it, which is gonna be its native biome that's gonna have a green arrow. You can see how, how long it takes to grow. So basically, this time that it says grows in, for example, pumpkins, four hours. This is going to be the time it takes to grow in any single biome. So if you, if you grow pumpkins in meadows, it's going to take four hours to grow. I've been running some tests on many crops, growing and timing every single plant in every single biome. And I've discovered some very interesting results. So... To grow pumpkins anywhere except Forgotten Lands, it's gonna take you pretty much four hours. In Forgotten Lands, if you grow pumpkins, it's gonna take you 24 minutes less. Basically, the math here is 10% faster. The exact number you're looking for is 10%. You get 10% boost. So it's, uh, it's relevant to every single plant. I've tested it on multiple plants, and every single plant got 10%. Uh, uh, growing speed boost like I, I I've been doing this little patches of different uh, uh, Different plants and every biome measuring everything I put everything in the table compiled it But I'm, I'm just gonna give you the the final result because you uh, I, I don't want to bore you with lots of numbers One of the next videos is gonna be it's gonna have lots of numbers in it I actually collected a lot of data and I I'm finally gonna make uh, an actual table that's gonna show which plants are the best for farming. I've seen a lot of people making those infographics, and I, I don't think that they did the right, uh, they did it the right way. I, I think nobody ever accounts for everything, and I think I'm gonna make uh, a formula, a calculation to finally account for everything and give you, finally, results exactly which plants are the best for farming in what conditions. And I'm going to back it up with data and numbers. And results are going to shock you. Honestly, some of the plants that are on top of the list, nobody's even talking about. Anyway, so back to this. So it takes three hours and 36 minutes to grow pumpkins. But there is one little twist. So you know how some plants, they require multiple waterings. Like, for example, you need... Uh, if you're growing pumpkin, you water it initially, and then you have to over uh, water it another time in two hours. So totally two times. So you're probably thinking, so uh, if my time is cut down by 24 minutes, if I'm growing this and forgetting forgotten lands, it's probably going to be uh, like each period before watering is going to be 12 minutes shorter, right? Because there is two of them. No, that is not how it works. The first time you planted pumpkins, you watered them. It's gonna grow for two hours, exactly the same as in any other biome. But the final, the final watering period is gonna be shorter. So you're still gonna water these pumpkins in two hours. And then the final uh, growing period is gonna be instead of additional two hours, it's gonna be one hour and 34 minutes, 30, 36 minutes. So if you if you take a look uh, at some other vegetables, it's it's gonna make even more sense. For example, there are certain uh, plants that you need to water multiple times. For example, canola. Canola has absolutely ridiculous amount of times you need to water it. Four, the highest out of all of them, and it grows in 35 minutes. So each watering period is gonna be 11 minutes and. 40 seconds if my math is correct so basically if you're growing this in forest of valor you're gonna get 10 percent off uh from from your timer so it's gonna be three and a half minutes so instead of 35 minutes it's gonna be 31.5 uh, minutes which is 
we're gonna talk later about if it's worth it or not. Which means you're gonna have to water it 11 minutes, 40 seconds later, then another 11 minutes, another 11 minutes, and then from the final period, after you water it th uh, three, four times, instead of 11 minutes and 40 seconds until the plant is ready, it's gonna take it pretty much half that time. It's gonna take minus three, three minutes, 50 seconds. So that, that makes no sense. I would assume that if you're growing it in the native biome, like the, the times between watering should be shorter too, but it's not. So it's, it's kind of weird. It doesn't make that much of a difference though. Now, let's talk about if it's worth it to grow. Uh, for example, if you, you might be wondering, should I grow pumpkins in forgotten lands to get that boost? Or should you grow them in uh, any other biome? Now, my answer is, for pumpkins, it doesn't matter. Because you're not going to be growing them. You're not going to be farming them 24-7. Meaning, you're going to plant them, and then you're going to walk away. You might come back to water them. You might just wait for the rain to water them. But you're probably not going to be sitting there and waiting for them to uh, pop out of the ground. So, it doesn't matter if you save 24 minutes. You're going to be doing something else those 24 minutes anyway and you know exactly when to come back four hours makes it easy and predictable so i don't think it's worth for pumpkins however for faster growing things like if you for some for some unbelievable reason you're farming something like carrots or canola something that is very uh fast oh let's see if we get a unique furniture from no if you're farming like canola or tomatoes or uh, carrots, anything that takes, I would say, 40 minutes or less to grow, then what you might want to do if you're really desperate for money, I don't think you should do it. I think pumpkins are going to be the most efficient, time-efficient crop to grow. Um, but unless you want to be printing money left and right and be absolutely disgustingly filthy rich then you can make an infinite field, which is pr pretty much going to be... Uh, you plant a field, and by the time you finish planting and watering it... Uh, like, for example, you do it in batches. You have, like, field that consists from three smaller fields, and you fully plant and water one field, then you fully plant and water second field, then you fully plant and water, and water third field, and then by the time you're finished, your first field is ready to harvest. So you can literally farm non-stop in that case i still don't think it's worth it because it's not spread equally which means whatever b benefit you're getting is gonna come only in the final watering period unless you're farming something that is less than 40 minutes and only needs to be watered one time which is carrots probably the only thing carrots lettuce wheat uh chili peppers also need only one watering also probably makes sense to plant it in some like plateau. <clears throat> so my advice, if something only takes one watering and grows relatively fast, where you can technically have an infinite field and just farm continuously, it's probably worth it. But uh, I don't think it's a fun way to play the game. You're going to burn out very fast. You should probably shoot for... Uh, like, try to get to pumpkins as soon as possible, because the beauty of pumpkins, you just plant it, and then you leave, and then you come back the next day, you harvest your field. If you have a giant field, you don't have to be super precise when where you, like, how fast it finishes. You just harvest it whenever you get a chance, like, take a break from other activities in the game. That, that's just my goal, so, my opinion, so, uh, final thoughts. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter matter listen to the man just plan to things wherever it makes sense to you whenever you feel more happy harvesting like if you don't like forgotten lands if you don't like how gloomy it looks plant it in a meadow make a farm in a meadow that blends nicely in your village that makes sense to you that suits your fancy that like that fits into your style like maybe you want to have a farm uh in a forest maybe you want to have a farm in a meadow doesn't matter those 10%, they don't make a big difference. So, yeah, hopefully it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, my friends.